Can I send an email tonight? I mean, from a laptop. You have an email account? Of course not. I would like to use yours. Okay. Lasse? Yes, you know? Why didn't you want to show me your poems? You must have written hundreds of them since we met each other. I already told you I am writing for myself. Yes, but I phoned one of my friends this morning. She knows someone who could help you to publish your poems. No, I don't want that. What I am writing, I am writing for a different purpose. Now, what kind of purpose? To scrape through life as a poor poet? I am not one of those people who writes to become famous and make big money. So why are you writing so much? Writing and poetry are simply part of me. As well as traveling, I know. You already mentioned that. You know, I think you're quite strange. Sometimes I get the impression that you're living in a different I world. I don't expect you to understand me. Not many people do it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. All right, no problem. So let's go. The day is too beautiful to spend without you. Every day is too beautiful to spend without you. Come on, Max, we are going. Come on. Just don't think you'll get a penny back if you're just gonna stare out of the window all night. Uh, sure. Let's talk a little. Talk? Why not? What kind of guy are you? Paying all that money just to waiter on? Who said I only want to talk? Fuck, I'm not into cycles. I won't tell you my life story. And I'm warning you, don't try to do anything stupid. All right. So how about... I tell you something. How about I give you blowjob and you just fuck off? You know, most of the time, I'm a loser. Just the very one who is standing now right in front of you. But sometimes 
it's different then someone special in my life makes sense I'm someone so who are you then I'm someone who helps others in their misery someone who delivers them from from their faith someone who protects and liberates i'm who batman no no you know what it's not my job to listen to this rubbish my job is to do something else Not only showing the helpless their path, I'm saving them. I'm saving them. Did you hear me? I'm saving them! time now I've been neglecting you, but don't be too sad, for there are no new adventures to report. In fact, the moment has come, and in peace my decision majored. Finally, I feel that the time of traveling is coming to an end. Now we will return home, together, and our eternal dream will come true. I so appreciate the way you have been waiting patiently. We will meet again, at the usual place. By the time the sun blessedly smiles for the fourth time, our aspiration will be nursed. Good morning. Can I turn off the radio? Strange ritual. What do you mean by that? Every day I see the same thing, just turn it off. I never really miss me. Didn't you sleep well or you are still angry because of yesterday? I don't know. What is it?
I've never seen this side of you. What is it with you? No idea how much you mean to me, brother. What are you driving at? You found the letter? No. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about that I'm going to say farewell to the two of you quite soon. What do you mean, quite soon? Within a few days. In a few days? Well, of course, it's not a problem, is it? Go! Just leave! Go without warning, just like you came into our lives! Why this anger, Runa? Let us depart as friends. You and Max will stay in my heart always. So that's it. You come into my life, take what you need, and then leave regardless of the consequences. Please don't be unfair. You were looking for someone to help take care of your brother, and I've been there for him. But now it's time for me to move on. You will find someone. How can you be so selfish? I was hoping you would understand. In this situation, I think it's for the best if I move on as soon as possible. You should know better. Son of a bitch. So she did not like. You didn't even follow them. Yeah, you have that bastard again. Just won't let me live in peace. Bastard! Who's to blame for all this? Him. <laughs> Never forget that. Yeah, yeah. Because into all this. Always remember that. 
Always. No wonder you are dreaming about him after getting out his pictures. Like you always do when you're wasted. Throw them away and be done with them. Don't you tell me what you do. The master simply abandoned me. He destroyed everything. Just disappeared. It's the best from me. And you are still here. It doesn't make any sense at all. Magnus, Magnus, stay with me. Don't leave me alone. Don't leave me alone. Living to another girl. What makes you think that? With all those women listed in your address book? No, I'm only moving on. To another girl. Please don't be unreasonable again. I'm not good enough for you. No, it's not about that. You are wonderful. But I have to move on. I'll be in touch. Do you really want to let me and Max down? Let you down? I don't understand what you are talking about. You have everything you need. Max from me. This is Mr. Petrish Melham. So far he's been everywhere with me. He's almost become a part of me. When Max saw him, there was this gleam in his eye. Petri will be in the good hands with him. Max doesn't need a job. He needs you, you mean a lot to him. Please understand, I have to go. I cannot stay. Thank you for everything from the bottom of my heart. seems like a really bad movie. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm serious. It's just so absurd. Yet it serves you. It's, it's, 
you don't have to pretend anything to me. It serves us both. I mean, I just cannot understand why you are doing this. There must be some deeper reason behind it. I just want to help. It's ridiculous to simply jump from dream to dream. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Go for a walk. Good idea for Ari. <laughs> <laughs> 